Hi everyone, welcome back to Romy Ruth. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use mezayou.com to find a place and a date of your French Canadian ancestor's marriage. Now, if you've done any genealogical research into your French Canadian ancestors on Family Search, you know that Family Search actually has thousands of pages of parish registers. But the problem is they are all unindexed, which means that if you search for your ancestor, they are not going to pop up in one of these records. And this is problematic because if you don't know the place or the date where they were married, you will never find them in these registers. I mean, there are thousands and thousands of pages of them. So I have a quick tip for you. I use mezayou.com to find the place and the date of all these marriages. And once I have the place and the date, I can quickly sift through the unindexed records on Family Search and find the record that I'm looking for. Now, if you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing to this channel, like the video, and leave a comment down below. I love to hear from you. And don't forget to check the links in the description box below to find more tutorials and blog posts on tracing your French Canadian ancestors. Now let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so here we are at mezayou.com. You can see everything is in French. There is an English translation button up here push that. And now everything is in English. So there is a lot going on here and it does tell you to log in, to call, to register. There's a lot. For our purposes, all you have to do is go up here and click genealogical data. Now this page will pop up and there are a few different ways that you can research on Mezayu. If you know the first and the last name of your ancestor, you can type them in here and it will give you the marriages for all of the people with that first and last name. So for example, let me type in my ancestor, Charles Letoile, he was male, find this ancestor. Now this page pops up that says there was a Charles Letoile who was married in 1823 in Pointe Claire. Now to see the wife, you do have to log in. It is completely free and I highly recommend it. You don't have to pay for anything. It's totally free and it's very helpful. Here I have logged in and now it shows the wife as Scholastique Roland. Now I happen to know that this is the wife and this is the marriage that I am looking for. So now I know to look in the parish registers of Pointe Claire in the year 1823. Now, unfortunately it doesn't give you the date or the, the month, but knowing the year, you can sift through those unindexed records fairly quickly. Now there is one other way to use Mezayu and that is searching by surname generally. So we're back on the homepage now, you click genealogical data. Let me say, if you are logged in to your Mezayu, as you account, when you click genealogical data, a different page will pop up. It won't look like this. It'll ask for husband's name, wife ma wife's name, and you can also search baptisms, which I'll show you in a second. This is the page that will pop up if you do not have an account. So click genealogical data and go over here to families list, and it will pop up a list of every single French Canadian surname or every single surname that existed in Quebec. And there is a lot of them. So I would use this in a case where I don't know who my ancestor married. Maybe I have the, the father's name, but I have no idea who his wife was if he married multiple times. And in instances like that, I would use this list. So let's go over to L'Etoile again. And there are a lot of L names. See, this is all LAs. I think if we click, uh, let's go to page four here. I have scrolled down here to Le Toile Italienne. And if I click that, here is a list of multiple people with that surname and the locations and dates that they were married. Now, quick tip, keep in mind that this was a deep surname. There was Le Toile, Le Talien. Sometimes they only went by Le Toile, sometimes only Le Talien. So if your ancestor al also has two surnames, as was common in Quebec at the time, be sure to check all three possibilities. But this is a really quick way to gather marriage info on multiple people in your line, or possibly just to see some locations where the surname was common. Here again, you will see Charles Le Talien, who we just researched, and Scholastique Roland, 1823 in point Claire, but I also see some other people that I am related to. Here's Jacques up here, who is farther down on Charles' line. Um, unfortunately, there is no location, only a year. I know I am also related to this Letoile right here, Germain and Marie. So this is just a really quick way to find multiple people at once. Now, if you are logged in, we're back at the homepage here and you will see things look a little bit different. Um, if you have an account, you can start building your family tree here. 
I don't bother using that service. I just take the information that I need to and find it on Family Search. But I'll show you if you click search here. Now you can find not only marriages, but also births and deaths and obituaries. Now I have to be honest in that I have never used Mezayu to search any of these. I only use it for marriages because I think it is that good and that quick. I love using Mezayu for marriages. But if you're interested in making an account and exploring this website more, I would recommend it. So far, I've found it nothing but absolutely helpful in helping me quickly find places and dates in order to sift through those family search records.